There you see our former president, Donald Trump, arriving in New York at 2 a.m. from two rallies in Houston and Dallas. I mean, the man just doesn't seem to ever get tired. He seems that when he is focused on something, he's focused on getting our country back. He is just dedicated. There's no stopping this guy. I've got some amazing footage to talk to you about today's rally in the South Bronx at Cretona Park tonight. Um, this is going to be unprecedented because as most of us know, uh, and just in case you don't, New York, especially the Bronx, has been royally blue. I mean, blue, 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 as you can imagine, for God knows how long. I mean, it's probably been decades. And I'm going to show you how the residents of the Bronx, multiple different interviews, you have to see this, what they are saying about the former president, Donald Trump, making a stop, having a rally, coming off a record-breaking rally in New Jersey. Everybody said New Jersey doesn't welcome Trump. He had over 100,000 people. I shared a video with that. It was unreal. I dare you. I defy you to find me any footage that's not fake, that's not AI, of Tombstone Vegetable and Chief Biden having anywhere near that at any of his rallies. It's funny. He's the incumbent Democratic president. Supposedly, he got 81 million votes. But every time he goes to a rally, every time he goes to on the campaign trail, his audiences, there's less than 50 people, if that, at any of his rallies. And Trump gets 100,000 in New Jersey. Don't go anywhere because you're going to be blown away. There is a really, really good chance that New York could possibly go red this November, which would be just, I mean, record-breaking. It would be groundbreaking, record-breaking, and it would drive those elitist, woke mind, virus, mafia, heathens, absolutely batshit crazy. Speaking of batshit crazy, listen to what uh, Bronx District, uh, actually, this rally is taking place like minutes away from Kami AOC's district in the Bronx, Listen to what uh, AOC has to say. This is beautiful. Hosting a rally to try to con people and try to fleece them out of every dollar that they have to fund his own legal fees. And by the way, he's doing it in the South Bronx, not to make a point, but because he's got court. And the man practically has the legal version of an ankle bracelet around him, and he can't leave the five boroughs because he always has to be in court. And so it is truly an embarrassment to him and I am looking forward to the response of everyday Bronxites talking about how they feel about him coming to their back. An embarrassment to him and an embarrassment to the Bronx. And she literally admitted that, you know, these sham trials are meant to deter him, are meant to impede him on the campaign trail. She literally admitted to election interference. I mean, if you don't, let me know in the comments. If that's not election interference, I don't know what is legal equivalent of an ankle bracelet around him that he can't leave within a certain area. And and it, you can see that she relishes in that. You can see how, how good that makes her feel, that all of their strategies, their blueprint for stopping this guy, for actually impeding the democratic process, for actually impeding our republic moving forward as a country, you can almost sense that she's really taking joy out of that. But I mean, I don't know. To me, that's a self-admission right there. Maybe subconsciously, uh, a Freudian slip, if you will, of her literally admitting that this is election interference because there is not a legal scholar, there's not a legal expert, law professor of the like, who can honestly say that these trials have any merit under the law. But you know what, OC? I agree. I'm very curious myself to hear what the Bronxites have to say about Trump visiting. When people are getting desperate too, that brings the crime up. When you get poverty and you get a bunch of people that come here that get actually more benefits than the people that have been here, then what? This is real America. This right here, people are paying 30, 40% more. We were just going to buy Windex to clean the, <laughs> clean the windshield. Everything is expensive. Everybody is hurting. People need to see that their leader cares about them. And Donald Trump does care about them. And that's why he's coming here. Why do you want to see Donald Trump tomorrow? 
But Donald Trump is the man. Everybody want to see Donald Trump. I do see him, you know. It's, it's, a, it's a what's up and thank you for doing what you did. It's 50-50, honestly. Uh, people are going to have some love and hate. Some people do love him, but I still to prefer him. That's better than Joe Biden. Was life in the Bronx better under Donald Trump or under Joe Biden? It was better under Donald Trump. Um, I can tell you that the Bronx has been through many changes. And everything was getting back on track. And then, you know, everything is like falling apart again. Senior citizens cannot walk in the street. Yeah. Our children have been killed. Uh, groceries, when you go to a grocery store, you, you can't even buy anything anymore. Everybody needs help. People need housing. Okay. Instead of giving migrants and everybody that's coming from other countries help, we here, we Americans, give us some help. El dinero, mayormente a los inmigrantes. They're giving all the money to the immigrants. No, no está mal, pero que... It's not that, it's not, I'm not against that. No, lo que pasa es que están cortando lo nuestro acá. The problem is they're cutting our stuff. What can Biden do at this point? Nothing. Even if he did something, the we're beyond the point of no turn when it's everybody's on the Trump train. I'm a Democrat. Mm -hmm. All my life I've been a Democrat, but Democrats have, have, have used us mm -hmm. and abused us, and they think that, that, that they own us. Mm -hmm. And Donald Trump is giving us the opportunity. Black people and Hispanic people are, are very happy about him coming, coming here, and they want to see the options, and they want to put pressure on Democrats to step their game up, and maybe Republicans have an opportunity here. They cannot let go. What's your advice to Trump? My advice to Trump is just to be himself, to be um, relatable. Don't change, don't switch up because they're trying to take you down. You're, you're good out as a president, you know. You're, you was in the White House, a lot of people wasn't, a lot of people want your spot. Come to the park and, you know, keep it real with the people. Just let us know exactly what you're going to do for everyone, not just the Hispanic community, not just the black and the minority communities, but for America, because when America succeeds, we all succeed. New York City's blue. Brooklyn's blue, Brooklyn is blue. Maybe, just maybe, AOC, not for long. You know, it's interesting. I've been hearing a lot more of people, American citizens, hardworking Americans say, you know, I voted Democrat my whole life. I've been a Democrat. I am a Democrat. But enough is enough. They're sick and tired of this elitist, woke mind mafia coming after our kids, giving all our money to foreign proxy wars that have absolutely nothing to do with us. We've already learned, you know, factually and data wise that in all likelihood, Russia is going to win the war. So hundreds and hundreds of billions of our tax dollars gone to waste. He left Afghanistan. He left an embassy in Africa. Um, trillions and trillions of our tax paying hard earned dollars gone to waste, tired of inflation, tired of going to the grocery store and not being able to buy anything, tired of not being able to take our kids and our families on vacation because we can't afford anything, tired of rent, mortgage, interest rates skyrocketing. I mean, the list goes on and on. A border that is wide open, giving credit cards to migrants. I want a credit card. Well, you could you use a credit card? I could use a credit card. I could definitely use some debt relief. Why are we giving $35,000 to uh, uh, students who knew what they were getting into, knew what they were paying for, signed a promissory note, uh, absolutely are required of zero financial liability or responsibility. Why are we giving them all this debt relief? Why are we forgiving billions and billions of dollars of student loans? Because he needs votes. The Democrats are in desperation. Tombstone Vegetable in Chief is in desperation. By the way, these residents in the Bronx, these interviews and these uh, uh, f this footage and these clips of these residents in the Bronx, these were just a few of many. If I showed you all of the clips that I found, all of the different people who are here to support Trump and welcoming him to the Bronx, this video would be two hours long. So the support is enormous. Again, people are so sick and tired. They're fed up with all the BS. They're fed up of all the elites thinking they know better than us. This rally, I think, is going to be record-breaking for any Republican in that specific district. It's happening tonight at 6 p.m. in the South Bronx. And stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you follow our newsletters in the pinned comment and in the description and show notes. I'm going to share with you all the highlights, everything that's happening as it's happening, what occurs, what Trump says, how many people are there. 
everything you need to know. This is your one-stop shop, so make sure you stick around. But I want to throw this off to you. What do you guys think of Nutbag, Nutjob, AOC, saying, oh, I look forward to what the Bronx, uh, Bronxites have to say, and then her getting slammed right in the face with all the unanimous support. Seemingly, I'm sure there was a few people who don't want him there, but it seemed to be, and I've, I've really done my due diligence on this, it seemed to be the majority of residents in the Bronx are sick and tired of these Democrat policies, these egregious programs and initiatives that give them, Americans, nothing. But I want to hear from you. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. I look forward to hearing from you. Um, again, if you made it this far, make sure you subscribe to our free newsletter. It's absolutely free. Uh, I'll leave that in the pinned comment and in the description and show notes. All you got to do is give us your best email, click on the link, give us your email and you're in. You'll never miss out because sometimes even if you subscribe to our channel or follow us, uh, you don't always get a notification. So this is your fail safe, sure proof way of never missing out on all the latest that mainstream media won't share. Check out these videos coming up on the screen right now. Follow, subscribe, and as always, God bless you and may God bless America. I'll see you soon.